I want to share an idea that I thought was really interesting. So I wrote this book called Soundtracks. What is a soundtrack? A soundtrack is my phrase for a repetitive thought, um, a thought that you have multiple times. Some people will say a repetitive thought is like, um, like a thought is like a leaf going down a river um, or like a cloud passing in the sky or a car on the highway. For me, the metaphor I like is it's a soundtrack. It's a thought that I hear more than once repetitively. Um, so I wrote a book called Soundtracks about that. And I did something crazy last week. I asked people to join me in a five-day live teaching where I taught um, – all about how do you overcome overthinking? I've never done that before. Um, it was five days in a row. It was really six days in a row because Jenny, my wife, did a bonus day. She sat right next to me right here, and we um, talked about how to be married to a dreamer. It was a ton of fun. We had nearly 10,000 people do it. It was super encouraging, great interaction. Um, I just had a blast. Like Teaching live, even in a virtual setting, was super fun. Um, and then we did something backstage. We did this thing called the VIP Backstage Access. VIP backstage access was my chance to go, okay, I teach the content for like 45 minutes to an hour, and then I pop over on another link, like a Crowdcast link that's VIP that people have signed up for, and then I answer questions. We had a Google Doc, Google. People would send us questions ahead of time. I'd be able to answer them. We'd have a good conversation during the um, the VIP backstage. It was it was like if you went to a concert and you got to go have coffee with the, the musician after. It was just fun. And people ask great questions. And one of the questions that somebody asked was about loneliness. And I thought it was really good. So this person said, hey, I've got a broken soundtrack that tells me over and over and over and over again, I'm lonely, I'm lonely, I'm lonely. And I think that's one that a lot of people have right now. And loneliness is really fascinating because loneliness is kind of a, a snake that eats its own tail. Um, loneliness, and what I mean by that is it tends to build on itself. Um, you feel lonely and then you feel bad for feeling lonely. And then you feel like, well, I feel lonely. I should spend some time alone figuring out why I feel lonely, which only makes you feel more lonely. And it kind of builds on itself. It builds on itself. Um, or you feel like, I don't want to bother somebody else with my loneliness. I must be the only person who's lonely, so I don't want to bother other people with my loneliness. Um, and so we talked about that. And so one of the core things in the book is about how do you flip broken soundtracks to new soundtracks? Like imagine if you could pick the thoughts you were going to hear repeatedly. That's what's so crazy to me is how few people know you get to choose what you think. Like you get to pick the thoughts you have. You get to choose the soundtracks you listen to. And when you do that on purpose, your thoughts lead to new actions, which lead to new results. Like that's how it always goes. Like the thoughts you choose, the thoughts you listen to lead to new actions, which lead to new results. And you know that. I mean, if you have a hard time going to the gym, it's not because you can't find the gym. Like, you know where the gym is. The gym hasn't moved. Um, it's not that you can't get into the gym. Like, every gym's doors are unlocked. I mean, depending if you live, like, which state you live in with the pandemic. But, like, they'll let you in. Um, the treadmill has worked the same way for 50 years. It's not that you don't know how to do it. It's that your thoughts get in the way. I define overthinking as when what you think gets in the way of what you want. And so this person said, I'm lonely. That's one of my broken soundtracks. So I told her that I think she needed to trade that. She needed to put, like retire that old one and replace it with a new one. That's the heart of the book. There's three R's. You retire broken soundtracks. You replace them with new soundtracks. You repeat them so often they become as automatic as the old one. Three R's. I'm a pastor's kid, so we do alliteration, dude. What can I tell you? Three R's. You retire the broken ones. You replace them with new ones. You repeat them so often they become as automatic as the old as the old ones. So she said, I've got a broken one that says I'm lonely. I'm lonely. And I said, I think you need to retire it. And I think you need to say instead, you ready? This is a new soundtrack. I'm built for people. I'm built for people. What if you could do that? What if instead of going, I'm lonely? Because the problem is when you say I'm lonely, all this these other feelings rush in. Like all these other feelings rush in and go, oh man, um, like I shouldn't feel lonely. I'm, I'm embarrassed that I'm lonely. I, you know, I'm broken because I'm lonely. Like all these shame thoughts roll in. So what if instead of saying I'm lonely, you just said something that was positive and you said, I'm built for people. Like I am built for people. I'm built for people. You know why I feel disconnected right now? Because I'm built for people. It's not that there's something wrong with me. Um, it's not that I'm deficient. 
Like I'm built for people. And this has been a lonely year. 2020, dude, was a lonely year. 2021 was a lonely year. It it was, especially if you're built for people. And here's here's a spoiler alert. Everyone watching this right now was built for people. You're built for people. Britt was built for people. Marissa was built for people. Len was built for people. Bob was built for people. Asher was built for people. Laura Kay was built for people. You're built for people. So the next time you feel lonely, I want you to pause. I want you to pause because I don't want you to feel shame for that. I don't want you to feel bad for that. I don't want you to feel like you're the only one who feels lonely and you shouldn't feel lonely. Nope. I want you to say, you know what? I'm built for people. And then here's what's cool. When you do that, when you change your soundtracks to something positive, it encourages you to actually do something. You actually have something you can act on. You actually have an action you can take. Because if you say, I'm built for people, guess what happens? I need to reach out for people. I need to connect with people. I need to pursue people. I'm built for people. I'm built for people. That's something you work on. You say, okay, if I'm built for people, I need to reach out to a friend and go on a walk. I need to text somebody. Like I need to call somebody. I need to talk to my spouse. I need to talk to a friend. I need to talk to a parent, whatever. You go find people because you're built for people. So that's my hope for you. The next time you feel lonely and you're going to, we all do, especially in weirdo years like 2021. The next time you do, I want you to say I'm built for people. If you missed the beginning of this video, instead of saying I'm lonely, what do you say? I'm built for people. I'm built for people. Thanks guys.